Welcome to Midpoint Monday on 88.5 FM and WMNF.org. I'm Sean Canaan. We have two main topics today. We're going to take your calls to see what you think. First up, we're going to hear from candidates running for city council in Clearwater. I hope you weigh in if you're a voter in Clearwater or if you're interested in some of the topics that come that came up in a candidate forum. Here are some of the topics that you'll hear about. The Imagine Clearwater plan for Coachman Park. Also, the influence of the Church of Scientology on City of Clearwater politics. We'll also hear about climate change in Clearwater and how the city plans to deal with it. First, we're going to hear the opening statements for five of the candidates for seat two. They're introduced by moderator Al Ruchel. First up here is Mark Bunker. Yes, I'm not your typical candidate. I've spent most of my life in the media, including 10 years in TV news in San Diego. I moved here in, uh, to Clearwater because I cared about this city long before I got here in 2000. I've been working for over 20 years helping people uh, abused or defrauded by Scientology. And when I got here, I found out that the city wanted nothing more than to keep Scientology off the front page of the paper, and politicians viewed it as the kiss of death to take them on. Well, not me. I'm not going to be silenced. I'm running to make a difference, not just on Scientology, but to give voice to those who feel no one's listening and no one cares. For those who, uh, who, who feel that the good old boys network here is favoring developers over people. I want to put people over power and cut bullies like Scientology down to size. All right, thank you, Mr. Bunker. We have Jane in Tampa on the, on the line first. She's been holding, so I want to go to her. Uh, welcome to the show, Jane. What's on your mind? Hi, Hi, Sean. Thank you so much for the show. And I heard for the first time... Mark Bunker speaks today. My husband and I, although we live in South Tampa, we have wanted to buy property in Clearwater for some years, both commercial and residential. We have refrained because of the influence of the Scientology just on the local government. Hearing Mark Bunker speak about his intent to look into that and to take action is a breath of fresh air. We will be sending money to support his campaign, and thank you, thank you. This is something that has stood in the way of the development of Clearwater, and I, I, just, I was so grateful to hear that today. Thank you so much again. All right, Jane, thanks so much for calling. Now we're going to hear what the C2 candidates think about Imagine Clearwater. We're going to hear first from Mark Bunker on Imagine Clearwater. Yes, well, I love the plans for the park. They look beautiful, but... I don't see anything in the plans that addresses the reasons we need them. We're hoping to bring people downtown, but person after person I talk to says they don't want to come downtown because of the presence of Scientology. So we've got to deal with that. They say they find the downtown creepy or intimidating, or they just don't want money going into uh, Scientology's pockets. So I think we as a council and the mayor need to grow a spine and be uh, unafraid to say the word Scientology and take them on. Work with the federal government to explain why they don't deserve their tax-exempt status. Remove that, which they didn't have till 1993, and that will put an estimated $17 million back into the city coffers every year, according to Scientology's own uh, uh, numbers from their Freedom Magazine. You want to pay for a 4,000-seat covered amphitheater? Boom. Done. And uh, short of that, we need to scale back. Hi, Rob. You're on the air, and you want to talk about Scientology? Yeah, Sean. Um, you know, I'm, I'm in Tampa, but I've had, I have friends that live over in Clearwater. Of course, I've been there many times. And uh, even, even eight years ago, uh, my friend, uh, she and, and her boyfriend took me downtown to downtown Clearwater and we would go into these shops and she would say, these are all sinos, but you don't know it, you know, and it was already creepy. I mean, that's a perfect word for it. I saw buses of people coming in with, you know, and they're wearing these white and black uniforms and whatnot. It's sort of like invasion of the body snatchers. And I would encourage anyone, uh, any voter in Clearwater to vote for whoever is going to put up a resistance to this uh, movement, you know, really. I mean, we've already seen it down over here in, in Ybor City, where they they bought up the whole the uh, Ybor Square complex, you know, and uh, you have guards walking the sidewalks. It's just not to me. It's not a religion. 
it's kind of like a Ponzi scheme. You know, you have to pay money to move up the ladder and to pay that off. I think they get you to like work hours and put in time, walk canvas, walk up and down the street, trying to hustle more people into the cult, you know, and, uh, eventually they're going to get enough people in Clearwater where they're going to be able to vote in the government of choice. And I think that is kind of their secret goal. So uh, it's it's a really weird thing, kind of how they were able to go in there and do this under the radar. And then I guess the St. Pete or the uh, St. Pete, the, the, the Times, you know, kind of exposed that uh, recently. So I think it's a time for politicians over there to stand up. I mean, it used to be this great little town, you know, very beachy, laid back, kind of these old storefronts and whatnot. And um, it's going to be lost if uh, somebody doesn't stop it and, uh, before they get the political leverage to basically get their way. All right. Thanks so much for your thoughts, Rob.